Hello everyone, it's Sharon and today I am taking you through my makeup collection. I'm going drawer by drawer and showing you everything. Um, the only thing I'm not showing in this video are my palettes because that would make this video probably two hours long and I will spare you. If you'd like to see a palette collection video, let me know down below, leave it in the comments and I will be happy to do that. Um, I also wanted to say that I will be doing my 800 subscriber giveaway, so stay tuned for how you can win that. Thank you all for subscribing. I really appreciate you. Um, I recently did a beauty room tour and that is where you guys told me you'd like to see a full makeup collection. So that's why I'm doing this video. So I hope you enjoy and stay tuned to the end for how you can enter the giveaway. So in the top drawer of my makeup collection, I have foundations. These were organized, but that quickly dissolved as soon as I start using things and mixing things around. It got very disorganized. So um, what we've got going on here is a spice rack. I got this from Amazon. It's a clear expandable spice rack that you'd put in a drawer in your kitchen to um, set your spices on. And so I love it because it keeps my foundations tipped up, um, which is really great when I start to use them up a little. Highly recommend that for storage if you keep your foundations in a drawer and you have a lot. These are awesome. I'll have this one linked below. Um, so what we've got going on here is a lot of drugstore a lot of high-end foundations. This back row back here, I'm not gonna touch on much because they are the foundations that I don't use very often. They're either ones I don't really care for or ones that are too dark for me because I did buy some new foundations when I was going to Disney because I had a spray tan. So a lot of these back here are darker. I've got the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear. People rave about this and I, for the life of me, cannot get a shade that matches. I haven't been able to mix them, nothing. So. I don't love it because I can't find a shade that matches me, which is a super bummer because I know it's very, very popular. This is from Hard Candy. It's the Glamouflage Foundation, and I really do like this. This is the Maybelline 24-Hour Foundation, um, the Super Stay. Don't love this. Not at all. <laughs> Would not recommend. I've got some Wet n Wild Photo Focus back here. I've got a Morphe foundation, didn't love it. Um, and then the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow and the matte in both darker shades because I wore those in Disney World some. Or no, I didn't take those. I, I forget what I wore there. Whatever. Um, okay, to highlight a few others, we've got the Maybelline Fit Me Tinted Moisturizer. Pass, would not recommend. I've got the Undone Unfoundation Glow Tint. This is a newer brand that... Um, Ulta is carrying. I haven't used this a whole lot. Let me know if you have. Ult really, I don't think I got the right shade. It's a little too light for me, but it was really hard to tell what shade to buy, so I went with this one. Eh, don't love it. The Essence Pretty Natural. Love this. Great foundation. Highly recommend. I've got my Bare Minerals Powder Foundations kind of shoved in the back. This is a... I need to clean this, obviously. Gross. Um... A palette for foundation. I really don't use it very often. I've got my other powder foundations back here, like a darker version of the Infallible Fresh Wear. I've got the KVD Good Apple. I don't love it, but it's all right. Um, so that's what's going on back there. I've got the Beauty Blender Bounce Foundation. Um, not my favorite, but it's a pretty good full coverage. Um, Tarte Hydroflex. Again, not my favorite good lightweight foundation. Probably wouldn't buy it again. There's ones I like better. Like for instance, Wet n Wild Tinted Hydrator. Honestly, this has been one of my favorite kind of tinted lighter wear foundations um, or serums that are so popular right now. This is what I would buy again over everything else that I have. Um, now this is a top five favorite foundations ever. It's the number seven Protect and Perfect Advanced All-in-One Foundation. If you haven't tried this, I highly recommend. It is beautiful. I absolutely adore it. I've got the Lottie London Foundation. This you can get at Walmart and I'm sure on their website. It's a light to medium coverage foundation and I actually really like it. It has um, a squeezy top tube. So I actually really like that and I like the applicator as well. I've got the NYX Total Control Pro Drops. I haven't used these a whole lot. I don't really have any thoughts on them. I have two little baby samples of the new RCMA foundation that Tati just did a video on on her channel. And honestly, after using them, I don't think I'd, 
I'd buy it. If you were curious, you can buy these samples. I think it was actually like once shipping was involved, it was like 15 bucks to get these two little bitty things. I am still glad though because it was still less than buying a full size that I might not have liked. I do like it, but considering I've got all this, I do not see me buying this. I've got the Becca Ultimate Coverage Foundation. Don't love it. Bought it on sale. I mean, it's like it's fine. It's just not a favorite. I've got the Physician's Formula Better Believe It. This is a great full coverage foundation. I also have the Healthy Foundation. Honestly, I prefer this, but it is being discontinued slowly but surely. You can only find it some places now. I've got the stick version of the L'Oreal Infallible. I do like a good stick foundation every now and then, especially for traveling, because this is not going to leak and get all over your stuff. <laughs> I've got, okay, this is from Bare Minerals. It's the original liquid mineral foundation. Don't love this. It's an interesting top. It twists up. I regret buying it. I don't, I bought it without knowing anything about it. I don't love it. I don't think the shade I got was quite right. I'd pass. Now, this is newer to my collection. It's the CoverGirl Outlast Extreme Wear 3-in-1 Foundation. I believe this is a reformulation because the CoverGirl Outlast used to be around maybe like 10 years ago. It was like a blue bottle. My mom wore it all the time. I loved it. But this right here on the sticker says new, and I don't think it's a new shade, so I'm thinking they've reformulated that line, and it's just as good, if not better. I absolutely love this. I've got the new, well, newer. I've had this quite a while now. It's the L'Oreal True Match Nude Tinted Serum. I'm wearing this today. It's okay. I probably wouldn't buy it again. I actually hate the, the formula, or the, not the formula, the fact that it's a dropper. It's really messy. Honestly, I kind of just smear this on my face, like the little wand. I just sort of smear it on my face. Look, I'm just dripping it down the sides now because if you're not careful, that's what happens. Some have to set this aside and clean it. I, yeah, don't really care for it. I wish it was a different kind of applicator. Um, okay, so I've got more high-end ones kind of over here. I've got the Dior Forever Skin Glow. Would not buy this again. It's a very, very, very dewy, like pretty much too much, like too dewy. Um, Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer. I like this. The Tinted Idol Ultra Wear. I like okay. Not sure I'd buy it again, but I like it. This is the Lorac Pro Foundation. I feel like no one talks about this, and I do like it. I should use it some more, maybe highlight it in a video. Um, Estee Lauder Double Wear. I feel like every makeup junkie has this. It's not one I reach for a lot because it is very full coverage and matte, but I do like having it on hand. I got this very, very cheap at the cosmetic company store. The Too Faced Do You Full Coverage. Um, I don't think it's quite the right shade. I, I got it in snow. It's not my favorite. I've got the Makeup Forever HD. Now, this looks very deceiving. Like, it's a really dark tan. It's not. It's a lot lighter when it comes out. I found all of their shades to be very deceiving. So, like, do not buy this based on what you see in the bottle because it will not be accurate. You need to color swatch this before you buy. I've got the Estee Lauder Double Wear Light. I actually like this a lot better than the original foundation. It's beautiful. Um, I would buy this again over the other, although I'm not sure you still can. I want to say maybe they replaced it with something else because when I tried to link it for a video, I couldn't find it like on Ulta's website anymore, only the Estee Lauder website. So let me know if you know anything about that. This is the Josie Marin Vibrancy. I wouldn't buy this again. Again, a very dewy foundation, like too dewy. This is Smashbox Halo. I got this during a 21 Days of Beauty, I think a couple sales back and it's fine, but again, like it's a tinted moisturizer. I would stick with the Wet n Wild. It's cheaper and better, I think. Um, oh, I missed this one, the LA Girl Tinted Foundation, Buildable Natural Finish. I really actually like this. Um, I think it's pretty good. This is an all-time favorite. I haven't talked about it in a while on my channel because I was shouting it out like every single video. Um, it's the Milani Screen Queen Foundation. It's probably one of my top five foundations I've ever used. I love it. I have backups. I have it in other shades. It's just so, so good. Maybelline Matte and Poreless. Not a favorite of mine, but for matte foundation, I do really enjoy it. This is the Believe Beauty Foundation. It's one you can get at the Dollar General, and I like it just fine. It's not a holy grail for me, but I do like it. It has a nice finish. 
This is the Catrice True Skin Hydrating Foundation. I've actually had this for quite a while, long before Tati talked about it. She did a whole video about it, raving that it was like the best drugstore foundation. Um, I don't love it. It's fine, but it's not what I would call my favorite drugstore. So, I mean, that's how makeup is so personal to everyone. Let me know your thoughts on this because it's been a very hyped foundation ever since she talked about it. And, yeah, it's not one that I find myself reaching for. I've got the L'Oreal True Match Lumi. This is one that's been around for years, and it's so good. I've bought so many bottles of this. It's fantastic. I highly recommend. Every time I use it, I think, why did I stop using this? It's beautiful. Profusion Feel Good Skin Long Wear Skin Protector. I think this is maybe an $8 foundation. It's very affordable. It's under $10 for, for sure. It's a cruelty-free and vegan formula. This is the Profusion line that can be found at Walmart or online on the Profusion website. And I love this foundation. It's really, really very good. They don't have a good shade range, but if you can find a shade that matches you, it's very good. This is the NARS Sheer Glow. I finally got myself a pump and I do like this. I'm honestly not sure if I'd buy it again, maybe down the road, but um, yeah, I do like it. This is one I don't hear anyone talk about and I actually really enjoy it. So I think I might do a video. Let me know if you'd be interested. It's the All My Skin Perfecting Comfort Matte Foundation and it's beautiful. It's beautiful. I think it's a newer foundation. It's an all day wear, oil free. I just really, really like this. It's fragrance free and hypoallergenic. So if, if you have issues like that, I think you might really like this. The number seven Lift and Luminate Triple Action Serum Foundation. I have not used this enough to have an opinion on it. I honestly couldn't tell you my thoughts. <laughs> and then, of course, Wet n Wild Photo Focus. This is the Dewy. It is fantastic. If you haven't tried it, you got to try it. So, so good. Um, yeah, I think that pretty much covered everything. There might have been one or two that I just brushed over, but yeah. Oh, and then this here is my Clarisonic brush head attachment, if you saw that in there. I hope you can see good enough in this drawer. This is my primer and concealer drawer. Um, so I will have these containers linked below. I've shouted them out before. They are my very favorite organizers I've ever found to go in this Alex drawer system set. They fit the five drawer system perfectly as well as this six drawer system. I can fit two side by side here or one each in the five drawer system and I love them. Um, so yeah, I'll have them linked below, but um, just a quick reminder, you can find these a lot of times at HomeGoods or Marshalls or TJ Maxx. Just look in all the places that they have organizational bins and containers and you might find them because that's where I found all of mine for a lot cheaper than like on Amazon, but I will have them linked if you're interested. So I will run through these really quickly. We've got the Rimmel Stay Matte primer. This is one that used to have a lot of hype back in the day and I picked it up recently. Still really like it. Very good primer if you're looking for a matte primer. This is the Revolution Color Correct um, Green Tinted Primer. Um, I don't think it does a whole lot. I pass. This is the Milani Chill Out Smoothing Primer. I like this fine. It's not a favorite, but it is pretty good. This is the e.l.f. Jelly Pop Dew Primer. I really don't have any thoughts on this. It's one that was really popular. It came back and I tried it then. Um, it's, again, it's fine. I don't, I don't know. Honestly, out of all these primers, if I'm being totally honest, I could probably get rid of all but one or two and be perfectly happy. Face primer is not something that I'm super, super picky about and I don't always think that it does a whole lot. So... I don't know. I don't know why I have all these. I think it's because I want something to be amazing and I just don't always see a difference. Um, I've got the Milani No Pore Zone Mattifying Primer. I do like this one. This one's a very good primer. The Nor No Pore Blum Primer from Touch and Soul. I was so excited to get this. I've heard nothing but good things about it. I have not used it enough to have an opinion. Um, if you can find it cheap, maybe give it a try. Yeah. Wet n Wild Primer Serum. I don't like this because, again, it has a dropper applicator. And this is easier than, you know, a foundation by far. Um, but I just think this is a messier, harder thing to use. I'd prefer something with a pump or a squeezy tube, so I never reach for this. This is honestly um, kind of a, I don't know, it's kind of like a spot 
This is a Physician's Formula Spotlight Illuminating Primer. This is a beautiful primer if you want a very luminizing... I had that little chunk in there from it, not using it. But do you see that? Like, it does give your skin a really beautiful glow. So this, for a very illuminizing kind of shimmery primer that will look beautiful under your foundation, this is really good. It's from Physicians Formula, if I didn't say that. I've also got the Maybelline Perfector 4-in-1. This is supposed to be the dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury product, and I wouldn't know. I've never tried that, but I do like this one. All right. I don't use it all the time, but I do like it. This is from Revlon. It's the Prime Plus Brightening. I don't see a lot. It's fine. I don't know that it's a favorite. This is the Peter Thomas Roth Skin to Die For. It's a no-filter mattifying primer and pore filler, and I do really enjoy this one. I'd say I probably kind of enjoy it just as much as the Milani, so I kind of feel like these might be dupes for one another. Not quite sure, but I've never put them like head-to-head, -head, but they're very similar. The Revlon Color Stay Prep and Protect Primer Base. This is a oil control sunscreen primer and that's what I call it. Um, it's got 34 SPF in it, which I think is great for a primer. It has a very thin consistency. It's kind of a nude color when it comes out, but it does do a really good job with oil control. And this is one I never hear anyone talk about, and I do think it's very good considering you're getting SPF protection plus oil control. I think this is very good. I've got the Becca Skin Love Brighten and Blur Primer. I think I got this cheap at maybe Marshalls or something, and I do really enjoy this. I've got the Stila One Step Correct Tone Correcting. I honestly don't see a difference between like this and I have this one without the color part that just the prep smooths. I Honestly, I feel like they do the same thing. I probably wouldn't get either one of these again, but I do love how this looks in the bottle, and I am glad that I finally picked it up and tried it because it's one that I've seen for years and years and years and always been curious about. Um, I don't think it does enough, honestly. I've got two primers here from Urban Decay. We've got the All Nighter Face Primer and the All Nighter Ultra Glow. I prefer this one versus the Glow, but they are both very nice. Again, expensive. Don't know that I'd buy them again. Um, this is a sample size I got in some sort of subscription bag. It's the Tarte Quench Hydrating Primer. I like it. Probably wouldn't buy it just because I feel like you can get a lot of good primers at the drugstore. This is the Wet n Wild Impossible Primer Base. I do enjoy this one. I actually have three. These were all new um, in the past year. So the Glass Correct in Brighton and the Glass Correct in the Correcting Redness formula. Out of these three, I would buy this Brighton one again. It's my favorite. I actually feel like this does something. Um, this one does a pretty good job pore filling as well. So honestly, if you're looking for a very affordable primer, I would consider both of these. The green, I don't really feel like did a whole lot. I've got several here from Hard Candy. I've got the Sheer Envy Blur, the Sheer Envy Long Wear, and the Hydrating. And I think they all do a pretty good job, like them all. Um, out of all of them, I think maybe the hydrating is my favorite, but I'm not quite sure. Maybe I'll have to do like a showdown since I have three from the brand, like what's my favorite? Let me know if you've tried those and what your favorite is. Um, I also have the Ulta Beauty Poreless Face Primer. It's a pretty good one. I'd say it's really comparable to this Wet n Wild Impossible, but I do think this is probably double the price of the Wet n Wild, so stick with the Wet n Wild. I have a few other primers back here. These are kind of potted ones. I've got the e.l.f. Luminous Putty Primer. Um, I never reach for it. I just don't. Um, I do have the Catrice Prime and Fine, and this one I do have a pretty good dent out of. I'm not sure if you'll be able to tell. I really like this. This one I actually is one I feel like does something. When I pat this into my face, I can see it filling the pores and my pores just disappearing and blurring. I really like this. I've got a Tula one back here as well. It's fine. I got it on a 21 Days of Beauty sale last year. I've got the Tatcha, the Liquid Silk Canvas. I do like this. It's a pretty hydrating. It feels really nice on the skin. I also feel fancy using something from Tatcha. 
Don't know that I'd buy it again though. Uh, Bare Minerals Primetime Original Foundation Base. I uh, This is a very like silicone feeling primer and I do like it, but again, probably wouldn't buy it again. Got the Hourglass. I got a mini. This is the Veil. I'd always wanted to try it. I was so glad I was able to buy a mini and I actually really like this. This is one I could see myself maybe buying a full size of eventually, but I've got plenty of primer that will be a long time coming. I have the MAC Strobe Cream. This is one that came in a kit that I got at Marshalls and I was so happy to finally get it. I've always wanted to try it. I do like it. I don't know that I buy a full size because I think there's great dupes from the drugstore, but this I do like and I'm happy that I have it. I've got a mini Skin Love. I have that full size. These were all ones that came like in kits from Marshalls. I've also got the Becca First Light Priming Filter and I actually really like this. This is one that I did really enjoy using. So that's it for primer. I've got back here like potted concealers and correctors. So back here I've got the Stila One Step Correct Eye Corrector and I love this. This is really nice under the eyes. It gives you that peachy kind of reddish tone under your eye. So you pat that in first and then you put your concealer over it to help with you know dark circles under your eyes. This is really, really good. I would absolutely buy this again if I used it up. Got my Bare Minerals Concealer in Well Rested. That's one I haven't used in a long time, but I've gone through several of those over the years. It's been a favorite. I have the It Bye Bye Redness. It's okay. Um, I need to use it a little bit more. I'm not sure if it's one that I buy again or not. I do think it works to an extent. I've got the Glossier Stretch Concealer. I got this off recommendation of the YouTube channel our time of the month. I'll link them below if you haven't seen them. They're great. It's a duo, two friends, and um, they like this, and I really like it as well. I'm actually wearing it today. This is the Becca Under Eye Corrector Brightener, and I do like this, although I, after using this and trying the ones from Bobbi Brown, which I actually have three shades of because I was trying to find the right shade, I like this Bobbi Brown Corrector better. I would absolutely buy this again and again and again. Love it. It's one that I use every single day under my concealer. Okay, concealers here. We, I don't really have too many concealers. I'm really happy with the amount that I have here. It, of course, could be less, but considering what you've seen so far, it's not so bad. We've got a bunch from Tarte. I'll pull all those out. We've got the regular Shape Tape. We've got the t Shape Tape Ultra Creamy. I really need to put these head to head. I really don't know which one I like better. I don't think you could go wrong with either. Um, this is the Tarte Creaseless. It's a very thick concealer. You don't need a lot and I do like that. This is the Tarte Shape Tape Glow Wand and I like this as well. It's not one I use all the time, but I do enjoy it. This is the Maybelline Fit Me. It's a classic concealer. It's so good from the drugstore. We've got it in a darker shade from when I had my spray tan. I've got a color corrector from Maybelline. It's the Master Camo. This is very similar to the Stila, except this is a lot more hydrating because it's an under eye kind of serum. And this is like a color corrector. But if you're wanting this but can't afford it, see if you can get your hands on the Master Camo because the color is about the same. This is the number seven Lift and Luminate Serum Concealer, and I like this. It's a very hydrating, kind of lightweight, but gives you good coverage concealer. I do like this. Dropped it. This is the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Concealer. I really like this. It's a very hydrating, um, full coverage concealer. It looks beautiful, highly recommend. See, this is the Revlon Candid. I don't love this. I really don't. Um, let me know what you think. I actually think the reason I don't like it is because of the wand. It, not a lot of product comes off on it, which is good because you're not being wasteful and you're not using too much, but it's the wand itself is kind of hard. I don't know. I just, I don't love it. I'm trying to like it, but I really don't. This is the CoverGirl Concealer True Blend. I really, really like this a lot. This is the Shiseido. I think this is just a mini. It's the 
I forget what it's called, the Synchro Skin Concealer or something. I do really, really like this concealer. This is the Maybelline Eraser in the Brighter, right? It says brightener. It's very pink. Um, oh, yeah, because I have neutralizer, and that's the yellow one. So I really like both of them. They're great concealers. They also have them in regular skin tones if you don't want brighten or neutralize. This is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. It's the one that's like a dupe, or the Maybelline Fit Me is supposed to be a dupe for this. Um, I like them both. This is the Dose of Colors. I do like this, but it's too dark for me. It came in a subscription box. Um, I do think it's a really nice concealer though. This came in a subscription box. It's from Koki and it's the Be Bright Illuminating Concealer. The few times I've used this, I really enjoyed it. I need to play with it some more. This is the NYX Born to Glow Radiant Concealer. I really like this. It has a really interesting um, applicator. It's kind of got that spongy tip like the Maybelline, but you have to squeeze it up. I feel like this is one I've gone through a lot of product very quickly but I do like the finish of that concealer and the coverage. I've got the Marc Jacobs Stick Concealer, and I do enjoy that. Although, is Marc Jacobs going out of business? I'm really not sure. I got it when the whole website was on sale. This is the Nick, uh, MAC <laughs> Pro Longwear Concealer. I love this. This is my second or third bottle of this over the years, and I really enjoy this. Also have the Benefit Boing Cakeless Concealer. Love this. This is my second tube. The It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Full Coverage. Um, this one here from Tarte, these two consistencies are very similar. Um, so I actually reach for this one more than the It just because I like the wand application better than having to squeeze this out. But honestly, very comparable in formula. Then I have this Almay Skin Perfecting Comfort Concealer. I need to use this a little bit more. Um, I really, I got it for a video of like underrated drugstore products that are highly rated that no one talks about. And I bought that for that. And I haven't really used it since doing that video. So I don't really have any thoughts on it. Okay, let's move on. So this is my bronzer and blush drawer, and I'm really happy with how this looks. I'm very happy with my collection. My blush could probably get pared down a little bit, even the bronzer is probably a little bit, but for now, I'm okay with it. So we've got the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil. This is the lighter version. I do really enjoy this. It smells like chocolate. This is the e.l.f. Primer Infused Bronzer, I think. I don't love it. It's really too dark for me. I've got that at, um, Essence Luminous Matte. I really enjoy this bronzer. It's like the inside kind of has a little bit of shimmer a bit and the outside ring is matte. So when you kind of swirl it all together, it gives a really pretty finish. This is the Bronze Goddess from Estee Lauder. Again, one that's really too dark for me, but I feel so fancy having an Estee Lauder bronzer and the packaging is gorgeous. This is the Ulta Beauty 3-in-1 Cheek Palette, and this I got on recommendation of Jessica Braun because she's like my all-time favorite. I love this. If you are thinking about it, definitely go pick it up. It's beautiful. Um, mine is in the shade California Sunlight, and they have it in a couple of other color stories depending on your skin tone, but this one, highly recommend. I love the bronzer, blush, and highlight. They're all really good. This is the Iconic London bronzer. I got this in a subscription bag and I actually really like it. Um, it doesn't really seem too dark for my skin tone and I think it's a really pretty bronzer and I like the packaging. I've got the number seven Golden Sand bronzer. I think the packaging's gorgeous. I feel like they dupe Charlotte Tilbury packaging. Um, this bronzer shade is really good for me. It's very similar. Um, to the Milani matte. I think out of the two, I'd probably buy this one again. I love the Milani. I have mine in Sunlight 01. It's the lightest shade. Also have the Butter Bronzer in Light. I've hit pan on that. I'm really happy about that. I want to get this used up. Um, beautiful bronzer. Would definitely buy it again. I have a mini of the Hoola. I prefer Hoola Light, which I have right here. This is my second one. I've used one of these up completely and I love it. I have another from Milani. This is the Baked Bronzer. It's got little flecks of gold kind of all throughout it. 
that leaves just a really pretty glow on the skin. And I think this is a beautiful bronzer that no one talks about. Um, it's really nice. Out of, I mean, out of these two, I, I, if I had to choose, I'd pick the mat. But if you want something that has a little bit of a sheen to it, this is beautiful as well. I have this Revlon Skin Lights. It's not my favorite. It's a little too dark for me, but it's pretty. Um, maybe if you have a tan in the summer, it looks really nice. This is the Balm Take on the Bronze or Take Home the Bronze bronzer. And I really like this bronzer. Why does it have this texture on it? Can you guys tell me? Do you see the texture? It's so bizarre. I don't know why. I have two of the new bronzers from Positions Formula they came out with. I've got the, the Butter Donut and the Butter Cake bronzer. Um, I like them both. The Butter Cake has shimmer in it and it's a little bit darker, I think than the than this one. I could be wrong about that, but I like them both. They smell good. I just recently picked up the Tarte um, Park Avenue Princess. I'm really happy to have this. This is one that I've wanted for years and have never got, but it was on sale, so I picked it up, and the shade is perfect for me. It's just perfect. I'm so happy I got this. I also have the Bare Minerals Invisible Bronze. It's one that reminds me a lot of the Revlon Skin Lights. Very, very similar. Um, also similar in shade and finish. Don't use this a lot because it's a little too dark for me. And then I have NARS Laguna. Not a favorite of mine. A little too dark, but I am happy I have it because it's like a classic. So like out of a collector standpoint, I'm happy to say I have it got a lot going on over here in blush. We've got one from Lottie London. This is a really pretty kind of peachy. It's got some shimmer in it. I've got this Pixie head to, from head to toe. It was their collab with from head to toe. She's on YouTube. Um, it's like a blush topper. Very, very shimmery and pretty. L'Oreal Age Perfect Blush. Not a favorite. Neutrogena Healthy Skin Blush. Not a favorite. I've got one of these cream blushes from Milani. It actually should go in a different drawer, but I like this okay. Not my favorite cream blush. This is old from Pixie. I don't think you could find it anymore. I got it forever ago on clearance at Target. It's actually technically a blush, but a lot of times I use it as... I'm going to have to fix that. The lid came off. Um, I use it a lot as a highlighter. It's really beautiful. This is a favorite, the Alme Healthy Skin. This is absolutely beautiful, like top five favorite blushes. Love that. I've got some balm blushes. The Instain is a really nice one for fall. Frat Boy is a nice peach. I've got this satin blush from Essence. This is in Satin Love. Essence blushes are great if you're looking for affordable blushes. I've got a L'Oreal True Match blush. This, um, I Melee, I don't know. Um, I got this in some sort of subscription bag. I've got a really nice blush here from La Rock. It's very mauve-y. It's an aura and it's very pretty. This is my all-time favorite from Essence. They don't make it anymore. I'm so bummed. Probably because no one bought it because it's so, so pale pink. It's in blooming and I adore it. It's definitely a top five favorite and I'm sad that I broke it. The lid, not the blush. This is new from Tarte. I just got it um, when I got that Park Avenue Princess. It's beautiful. This one's in Parte. I've also got the Balm, Balm Beach. Love this blush. I've got one here from Positions Formula. I've got the Butter Blush from Positions Formula as well. This, ooh, love this. This is a top five favorite. Milani Luminoso, you gotta have that if you're a makeup lover. This is a CoverGirl Cheekers in Natural Rose. I like this. It's kind of fun just having this. It's so nostalgic to me. I've got one from Believe Beauty. It's kind of like a blush highlight duo. Don't love it. Not my favorite. Got the Lizzie McGuire ColourPop blush. Do not use it like at all because it's full of glitter, but fun. Love Lizzie McGuire. I've got a Revlon blush here in Apricute, and I really like this. Really nice natural blush. This is from Too Faced. It's the Sweethearts blush. This is beautiful. I'd definitely buy this again. Love this. I've got a Milani blush in Romantic Rose, another very pale blush that I absolutely adore. I've got some MAC cream blushes back here. These are the Bounce and Blurs. I really like both of these. Very different shades. Um, I have Blush Please 
and totally synced. This one's very kind of like a lilac-y undertone. It's really pretty in the spring. Got another from Tarte and Exposed. That's a classic. This one is B-Day Bay. This was came in a collection. This is a Bare Minerals. Oh, Bounce and Blur. What are these ones called from MAC? Um, I don't remember. This was Bounce and Blur, so I called those MAC ones the wrong thing. But this one's kind of got some glitter in it, so I don't love it. i got two MAC blushes here. I've got Melba and Blush Baby. Really like these. Out of the two, Blush Baby is my preference. I've got several box blushes. Rockateur is my all-time favorite, top five favorite blush. I've got Dallas and Dandelion. We know what those look like. So yeah, that's for blush and bronzer. Okay, here we have um, some cream blushes, some palettes, duos, and then highlighters. So here is one from IBY. I got this in a subscription. I actually really like this. Very pretty um, highlighter. I really like it. It's in Radiant Glow. I've got some from Becca here. I've got Champagne Pop and Rose Quartz. I actually prefer one that I have in a mini. Let me find it. Oh, right here in um, Moonstone. Moonstone's actually my preference for the Becca blushes or, or um, highlights. It's beautiful, but you know, you have to have Champagne Pop if you're a makeup lover, but I like Moonstone the best. I also have an Hourglass Mini. I don't love it as much as I thought that I would, but I do like it. If you've watched any of my videos, you know I love this pure highlighter. It's not the same. They reformulated it. This is a really old one, but I love it cause it's just a sheen on the skin. It's beautiful. This is the reformulated version, and it's like gold, yellow, really intense. Don't love it. I have a Jaclyn Hill highlight. I could see myself getting the full size in this because I love it, but I'm going to use this one up first. It's in Iced, and it's gorgeous. I have a MAC in... Double Gleam. Love this. Um, let's see. Oh, gotta have Mary Luminizer. Like, hello, classic highlighter if you love YouTube. Got this one here from Juvia's Place. It's also really beautiful. It's in, I don't know. Oh, volume number three. This is beautiful as well. Um, Essence Pure Nude. If you want just a subtle sheen for really cheap, this will get it done. It's beautiful. I've got an e.l.f. Baked highlighter. Not a favorite. I've got a cream from Profusion. Not a favorite. I've got this one from e.l.f. It is very pretty. Reminds me a lot of this one from MAC. They look very similar. They might even be dupes. Maybe I just found myself a dupe. They look really pretty. This is from Wet n Wild. It was a collection. Um, I think probably limited edition. I don't really wear it. It's really pink got the natural nude shimmer brick really pretty love this I think that's the second one that I've had this is from Tarte it's the shape tape glow powder I think technically it should be with my powders um, but I wanted to use it more as a highlight it's a very powdery finish it's I don't love it like I thought I would I've got a trio here from um, hourglass. I really like it. It's a blush and then some highlights. Really beautiful. This one is in light, luminous light. Really like that. Got NYX Born to Glow. Don't love it. Would not recommend. If you can still find this Wet n Wild in with Cocoa, I would highly recommend just for this highlight shade. It's really, really nice. The bronzer is way too much for me, but this highlight is just beautiful. Really, really like that. I've got this Pixie by Petra Duo one. I'm not sure if you can find it anymore. I think I got mine at maybe Marshalls or TJ Maxx. Very pretty. I've got the trio from Flower Beauty. It's a gorgeous one. And then I've got this loose one from Cody Airspun. I don't use it a lot because it's very messy. I'm not even sure they still make it, but it is pretty. I've got a bronzer blush duo from Jacqueline. Ooh, a <laughs> I've got the bronzer blush duo from Jaclyn Cosmetics, and I love this. Beautiful. It just didn't fit up here, so it lives here. 
I've got the Smashbox and Casey Holmes palette. Really nice highlight palette. This I just picked up. It's the contour palette from Wet n Wild. I've only used it once or twice, but I like it so far. This is a favorite of mine from Fiona Styles. It's the um, contour palette in light. Don't know that you can get this anymore. I have this Blink palette I got in a subscription box. Beautiful blushes and highlights, so really pretty. Haven't used it a whole lot. I've got the Profusion Highlight and Contour Palette. It's nice, but I haven't used it a whole lot. And then I have the Kat Von D Shade in Light. I've been really thinking about decluttering this. This is the old packaging, and I never, ever use this palette. A lot of these shades are way too dark for me. I never, ever reach for it. I feel like I just want to hold on to it for the collector in me, but that also seems kind of silly. And then I have a contour palette from Essence. I don't love it. And then this came in a Ipsy bag, I think, from Item. It's really too dark for me. It's a contour powder. And then I have some cream blushes and bronzers and contours here. This is from Hard Candy Lip and Cheek Tint. It's really pretty. It's a squeezy tube, so I don't love the application, but it's very pretty. Um, I actually have two shades here. I think I prefer this lighter pink to the darker pink. I have a sculpting stick from Jordana. If you can find this, I highly recommend. I really like it. I have one from NYX. It's the Wonder Stick. I like this as well. It's a good contour stick. I have the L'Oreal Infallible Blush, and this is beautiful, but I don't use it very often. I really don't know why, because it's a pretty color. This is a face highlighting color stick from Ulta Beauty. I never, ever, ever reach for it. I couldn't tell you if it's good or not. And then this is from Hard Candy. It's the same as like the Wonder Stick, but the Hard Candy version, so I think it's a bit cheaper than the NYX. Very comparable. Pretty good if you want a contour stick. Now this is my very favorite cream, cream blush. It's from Winky Lux. It looks like a beautiful rose and oh, I love this. Like absolutely love this blush. Top five favorite blushes for powder, cream combined. It's beautiful. This is the Physician's Formula Bronzer Stick. Not a favorite. I know a lot of people like it, but I just don't use it very often. And then this is a highlight stick from Becca in Champagne Pop. Oh, and then this is a little one from Milk Makeup. I never ever use this, but it's a cream blush. All right, this is my eye and eyebrow drawer. I will not be able to go through all these mascaras because this video is already long and it would be even longer. You can tell I love mascaras so, so much. If you want a mascara collection, you know what? Tell me. I'll do it separate because this is so much. Um, <coughs> excuse me. I've got my primers over here. This is just a pack of lashes I wanted to try, but I've got um, eyelash primers here, mascaras here. These are my brow products. So um, for lash primers, I've got one from Morphe. It's actually bright blue. Look at that. Royal blue. I think it's pretty good. Um, I like it okay. I have this one from Essence. It's a volume booster. I've loved this. I've gone through several tubes. I have one from Tarte. And I have the lawn comb. I also have the CoverGirl, which is in my top drawer. I forgot to get it in here. It's my favorite, I think. Um, okay, for brow products, we've got the Milani Brow Fix. I like that. I've got the Anastasia Pomade and Powder. I've got a couple of the Benefit Brow... What are these? Goof Proof. Love this. This is probably my favorite brow product. I have a pencil here from All May. Oh, Neutrogena. Didn't love this. Too emollient. Too creamy. I've got the L'Oreal Micro Ink Brow Pen. It's fine, but not a favorite. I've got a couple of the e.l.f. brow pencils. These are great for the price. Um, this is one from Item. I got in a subscription box. Haven't really used it yet. Anastasia Brow Wiz um, also came in a box, I believe, and not a favorite. I know a lot of people love it, but I actually prefer the triangle tip for a brow brush. Um, this is the brush that goes with Anastasia pomade. And then I have an hourglass arch. Again, not my favorite because it's very skinny and I prefer a thicker tip. For gels, we've got Anastasia brow gel, Makeup Forever, the NYX brow glue, Benefit Gimme Brow. Um, what is this? Oh, this is NYX Proof It Waterproof Eyebrow Primer. I thought I was buying the eyeshadow primer and I bought eyebrow primer instead. It's kind of weird. This is from Flower. I love this. Very comparable to the Benefit Gimme Brow, except I like this better and it's cheaper. 
Um, I also have from e.l.f. their version of the Gimme Brow. It's the Wow Brow. It's very, very nice. I like that. And this is from Revlon. It's the Brow Fiber Filler. I don't love this. I think it's kind of messy if I remember correctly. Oh, no, it's not. It's just weird. I need to use this again. I don't remember it at all. I'm talking very fast because I really want to get through this. I know it's a really long video. I apologize. You guys said you wanted to see it, so I'm doing it. <laughs> um, okay, moving on over to this side, we've got... These are eyeshadow primers. I love eyeshadow primer. I have to use it on my eyes or my shadow will not stay. It will crease. So in here I've got one from NYX. It's the Ultimate. This is new. Rimmel Magnify Eyes. I really like this for an affordable one. Let's see, this is another NYX Ultimate in a different shade. Urban Decay Anti-Aging. This primer potion is one of my very favorites. I've used it a ton. I've got one from Profusion, No Budge. I need to use this more. I don't know how I feel about it. This is one that came in a Profusion kit, and I actually did kind of like it. It's totally different than the other one, and it comes with a wand applicator, which I like. I've got one from e.l.f. It's fine if you need it. It's not my favorite. Um, this is a potted one I really should try. I think it came in a subscription box. It's the Beauty Crop Stuck on You. I've got one from Alter Ego. I really like this. If you're ordering from the Alter Ego website, I'd pick it up. I've got the Believe Beauty, not my favorite. Here's the NYX Proof It I told you about, I was looking for, it's fine. I've got a Hard Candy, I've got another Urban Decay Primer Potion. I've got a mini of the Ulta Beauty Matte Primer. This is from Smashbox, it's the Lid Primer in Medium. It's too dark for me. This is the Revlon Color Stay. this is a really great one. And then I also have one from Sephora, their primer. Here we've got liners, so um, we've got the Makeup by Mario, we've got um, Kat Von D Tattoo, love this, now it's KBD. I just got this one from Pixie. it's a very nice gel liner, but it's honestly a little too creamy for me. Um, let's see, Stila Stay All Day, that is a beauty blogger, like, ultimate cult classic. I've got Physician's Formula. This is fantastic. The Eye Booster. I love it in brown. It's my favorite. I've got this Fan X... I don't know what this is. I don't know. It came in a beauty box. I don't use it. I've got a Milani. This is great. The Stay Put Eyeliner in black. Awesome eyeliner. I've got a Believe Beauty in brown. It says it's metallic. I don't really think it's metallic. It's fine. It's not a favorite. This is actually a Lash liner. So it's a black liner glue. I really like it. It's from Kiss. This is from CoverGirl. It's the Intensif Intensify Me liner. Don't like this. Doesn't really work. Same with the Marc Jacobs. I got this brown one. Terrible quality. Terrible. This is a Maybelline, Maybelline Hyper Easy. It's a very micro fine um, liner. You can see there. Very, very, very tiny tip. Really good for tight lining. I do enjoy that. I think I like the Revlon one better, but this is good too. Here's the Revlon one I was telling you about. I've got it in black and brown. Here's an Urban Decay in Perversion. A great black liner. This is the um oof. this is the Wet n Wild Breakup Proof liner. I love this. Favorite liquid liner. I've got a Stila Smudge Proof Stay All Day Smudge Stick. I've got another one from Maybelline, the Hyper Easy in brown. I've got another Urban Decay liner in zero, so another good black. I've got a couple from Milani here. These are kind of metallic. I've got a gold and then this like bronzy color. They're both beautiful. I like this gold one in my inner corner as a highlight. It's really pretty. I've got a couple here from Urban Decay that are purples. Two. I really like purple eyeliner. I've got this L'Oreal one. This is a beautiful liner and the purple is really pretty. It's like a bright violet. This is a nude from Urban Decay. It's in Midnight Cowboy. This is another one I like to put in my inner corner. And then this is my very favorite I've been using recently from Demolition. It's a beautiful deep brown. You can see I've almost used it up. It was a full size and I've used the crap out of it lately. I love it. I want to buy another one, but I've got all this liner to get through first. 
here we have liquids. So we've got a couple from Stila. Um, this I have all over my lid today. I kind of used it as a base. It's a nude awakening. I also have kitten and I have another kitten one. It's glittery. Although, oh, here it is. This is the kitten karma. So the glitter version. I really like all of those. I think I found them at Marshall's. I've got a wet and wild. I haven't used this. I picked up the dollar store. It's the liquid cat suit, but I have used these in the past and I do like them. Very similar to the Stila. Um, this is a duo from Revolution. It's got a glitter liner kind of thing. And then this really pretty champagne-y cream. I haven't used this enough to tell you if I like it or not. Here's another liquid cat suit. Um, this came in a subscription box. It's a beautiful copper liquid shadow. I have a ton of these NYX sticks. I love these creamy eyeshadow sticks. Love them. I like to use them as a base for eyeshadow to intensify any metallics that I'm wearing. Um, this, this is one from Profusion. I've got some really old ones here from Essence. They don't make these anymore, but I love these two shades, so I'm still using them. Um, this is from Rimmel. It's the Wonder Cloud. I wanted to use this as a base, kind of like these Stila ones, but I did not really care for it. Um, I've got a shimmer glitter liquid shadow from Flower. It's fine, not super great. I've got another one from Profusion. Again, kind of like these Stila ones. It's pretty. Um, I've got a couple of MAC paint pots. I've got Painterly and Soft Ochre. This is from Burt's Bees. It's a beautiful shimmer, creamy shadow, but it really doesn't last on the lid. It creased. And then I have one from Revlon. This is beautiful. This is in Praline or Praline, however you want to say it. Pretty, pretty, pretty shade. Okay, I've got singles down here. I've got several from Maybelline. I've got like an icy white. I've got linen. I've got dusty rose. This is one Jessica Braun talks about. And I don't remember the shade of this, but it's beautiful, kind of a gold copper. Those are pretty nice single shadows. I've got one here from Dose of Colors that I never use because I can never get the dang thing open. <laughs> it's a really hard package to open, but it's beautiful. It's kind of a shimmery glitter. And I've got several MACs. I've got MAC All That Glitters. That's what's on my eyes today. This is in uh, Sweet Heat. Love this shade. It's gorgeous. I've got MAC Soft Brown, another classic MAC shade. Those are all my MAC shades that I currently have. They're the ones I use the most. I have a couple of ColourPop Super Shock. I've got a little quirky and I heart this, both really pretty. Love this from Sephora. This is just gorgeous. Like, oh, oh my goodness, so pretty. Um, it's a single shadow. This is in colorful Milky Way. That's what it's called, Milky Way. Then these Essence Melted Chromes are gorgeous. Very similar to that Sephora one. Let me swatch it. This is obviously like a different shade, but like, look, like very similar finish. So if you're interested in the Sephora, check out the Essence. It's cheaper. Um, this is a cream, so it should actually go up here. This is from Tarte. Oops. Oh no, it's a pressed. I forgot. It's a pressed. It's like the uh, L'Oreal ones. So I haven't really used this too much, honestly. I think it came when I did. Oh, that's beautiful. I got to use that. Oof. Glad I'm doing this video because that is beautiful. Oh my goodness. I think this came when I did the Tarte, like pick out like six full size for whatever price I did that. Um, Wet n' Wild Creme Brulee, great base, single creamy shadow, gorgeous. This is a little tiny glitter from Too Faced that I got when I bought a palette, like a limited edition palette, years ago. Like, I think for my 24th birthday I bought that set and I just turned 30, so it's old and I don't think I've ever actually used it, but the glitter itself is gorgeous and so I don't wanna give it up because I don't have anything like it in case I ever do want to use glitter and it's so tiny, I just, I keep on keeping it. This is a Bare Minerals loose one. It's kind of a pewter color. I've used it like once or twice. Might declutter it. My sister-in-law gave it to me because she didn't use it anymore. Now these are the infallible ones from L'Oreal that are just gorgeous. I recently had this one in Amber Rush in a favorites video. Beautiful, beautiful. I also have Ice Latte and uh, Burst Into Bloom, this beautiful purple.
we are just about done here. This is the setting spray and powder drawer. So for setting sprays, we've got this one from Revlon. It smells like cucumbers. I hate it. It's the Photo Ready Prep Set Refresh. I don't like it at all, mostly because of the scent. It's horrible. I've got one from Hard Candy, the Hydrating Primer Mist. It's um, like a before, before. Um, it's not like a setting spray. It's a before, you know, like a primer water. I don't really ever use it because I forget about it, honestly. This is from Tarte. It's the Stay Spray. I like this a lot. I recently picked up the All Nighter Ultra Glow during the 21 Days of Beauty, and it's very dewy. <laughs> I need to use it some more and see how I like it, but I don't think I'd ever buy it again. Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. I think it's overpriced. Pretty. Wouldn't buy it again. It came in a kit during the Nordstrom anniversary sale. I've got a big version of the Max, Mac Fix Plus. It's a classic. I also have a travel size of that. Great, great spray. I've got the Physician's Formula Butter Believe It. It's pretty good. The Mister is really good. Um, so I do enjoy that for a drugstore. Setting spray. Um, in all reality, I think this Urban Decay D-Slick, or not D-Slick, All Nighter is my favorite. And I don't have All Nighter in the regular. This is D-Slick that I bought for my vacation to Disney World since we went in the summer and we were hot. I used this. Really good. Um, I got this jumbo version of the Milani Make It Last setting spray. This is probably my favorite drugstore setting spray. It's fantastic. It reminds me a lot of Fix Plus. I mean, look at those bottles. Very similar packaging. For powders, um, my powder collection is pretty small. I don't get super hyped over powder. Powder is powder. I've got a Bare Minerals um, It Bye Bye, or not Bare Minerals, sorry, It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Pressed Powder. I do like that. I've got the It Celebration Foundation Illumination. Maybe it should go in my foundation drawer. I don't know. Um, I've got a couple Laura Mercier's. I have the regular and I have the luminizing. I prefer the regular. I got the luminizing at Marshall's. This is probably my all-time favorite powder. It's the CoverGirl Advanced Radiance. I like it for setting my under eyes. Although lately I have not been setting my under eye concealer. I've just been leaving them as is and I like that too. Gotta have the Cody Airspun. It's a classic, great, great, great loose powder. I've got the Essence My Skin Loose Powder the Maybelline Fit Me. This is new to me and I also really, really, really enjoy it. This, oh, it's got hair on it. Gross. This is from Becca. It's the Hydra Skin uh, Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. I love this. I found this at Marshall's, you know, and they were putting everything on sale for Becca and I actually went back and bought another one because I loved it so much. Really nice. Um, this is the NYX Professional Can't Stop, Won't Stop. It is definitely a mattifying powder. <laughs> it's new and it does its job, I will say that. This is a Revolution um, powder in the banana shade, so I'll use that sometimes under my eyes. Gotta have NYX Stay Matte, it's a classic. And then I have a MAC in, oh, it's a mineralized skin finish. Don't use it a whole lot. Um, and then I've got a number seven powder. This is the one they compared to the Charlotte Tilbury. I wouldn't know. I don't have that powder, but this one's pretty good. Honestly, I like the CoverGirl better. I'm not going to touch too long on my lip drawer because I recently did a lip declutter video. So there's only some things that have changed in here. So I'm not going to go too long. I'll link that below. I don't want to make this any longer than it has to be. Also, stay tuned. I get my Invisalign off in like less than a month. And I need to go through all of my lipsticks. I have a whole box full of my regular like cream lipsticks that I need to go through and, and redo this entire lip drawer. Probably get another lip drawer because <laughs> this is all of my matte products. These are just some like lip balms, glosses. I just didn't put these with my lipsticks because they came recently. Um, but here I've got all my liquid lips and then these are my lip... Um, crayons. These Maybelline ones are probably my very favorite. I love those. I have a bunch of shades. Um, the Buxom Dolly is one of my all-time favorite lipsticks like ever. I did get 
the Gilmore Girls Lip Crayon Set just because I love Gilmore Girls and some of these shades are really nice. I like them. Um, I did just get three Tarte Juicy Lips because they came out with the, you know, like blogger lines. So I got the Lisa, the Daryl Ann, and the Better with Chardonnay. I'm very excited to use these. I'll use them after my Invisalign journey is complete. Back here are liners. I recently pared these down. I'm really happy with my liner collection because I ultimately reach for like this one and Naked 2 from Urban Decay. I reach for that a lot. I reach for my MAC liners a ton. I love them and that's pretty much it, honestly. Um, oh, I like this NYX one. This is in Peekaboo Neutral. Really nice, I like that. Um, I recently picked up the Too Faced Melted Matte. I got this at the Cosmetic Company store for cheap because it's a really pretty like orangey color for fall because I was really looking for that. So I also picked up this Superstay ink in Globetrotter. Really like that as well. Um, like I said, I'm not going to go into these because I recently did a video on it. I'll have it linked. I want to wrap this up. It's already been too long of a video. Thank you for bearing with me. All right, everyone, that wraps it up. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Now to hop into how you can enter the giveaway. I make this as simple as possible. I polled you guys this time on YouTube to see where you'd like the prize to be from. And overwhelmingly, people said Sephora. So this will be for a $30 Sephora e-gift card. And all you have to do to enter is like this video and leave a comment down below. Any comment you want, you could just say hi, you could leave an emoji, you could, I don't know. Tell me your favorite makeup product. Any comment at all will do. If you'd like additional entries, you can follow me on Facebook or Instagram. And yeah, I will say that if you can get me to 850 subscribers, I will do two gift cards, two winners, two $30 gift cards to two different people. This giveaway will be open for two weeks. I will have the date below that it will close. And then I will draw and notify the winner or winners if you can get me to 850. Make sure you share my channel with your friends. And yeah. I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.